students at the high voltage lab here at this engineering building on campus, they will upgrade ventilators from running on batteries only to being able to plug them into a wall. The lab manager here said that not only will this help hospital workers, it will also help coronavirus patients. We're saving lives out there. David Wallace, the manager of the high voltage lab at Mississippi State University, said his team is working day and night to convert over 300 ventilators. The University of Mississippi Medical Center in Jackson asked the school to make the ventilators AC powered in addition to its battery power option. Now we've mounted switches in them so it gives the person the choice they can either use batteries or the AC power, whichever one they need. Wallace said ventilators can only last about 48 hours with the batteries in them. The problem is the batteries do not last very long. But after Wallace and his team converted to AC power, the ventilators will stay on as long as they are plugged in. With family members in the medical field, Wallace said it's rewarding to contribute to the fight against the coronavirus. I think it's fantastic. I mean, it gives us the opportunity to put our engineering knowledge to use, to do something that's going to be helpful. It's great for these kids. It's a wonderful experience for them. So anything that we can do to help others, all the better. Wallace said he recruited about 10 students to help him convert the ventilators. They just started this process today, and they hope to finish all of them by this Sunday. For now, I'm reporting live in Starkville. Nicole Dantzler, WTVA 9 News.